Hi, I'm Rowan, and today we're going to talk about being able to play multi-track audio on VLC player. Out of the box, VLC player can only play one track at a time, but if you pass it a set of variables, and there's a couple ways to do that, you can get VLC player to load up and play all the audio channels all at the same time. So method number one is to create a shortcut and um, in that shortcuts properties add this little bit of text which you can barely read. I'll zoom it up. Um, so in the target, so shortcut, target, and over here where it says vlc.exe there's a little quote and then i've added a space and this little string of text that little string of text will cause any file that you put onto this vlc player to play with all audio tracks and once you've double clicked on that um, shortcut any file you open up will play with all audio tracks as long as you have VLC player running and then we'll show you what happens with um, this file here never mind the other thing that's method two we'll get to it uh, we're going to drop this over to the regular VLC shortcut don't panic don't panic don't you hear that's panic. just me saying don't, don't panic and we have a little animation panic. going on don't now we're going to drop that same file over here to the other vlc start oh now we have background sound we don't. have my voice panic. we have mr r's voice don't. that would be panic. three tracks don't. we got three tracks panic. going okay don't. Panic. So, Don't let's stop that. Now, that was pretty straightforward, right? Now, there is a second way of doing this. Um, so let's say you don't want to have to open up a special shortcut. You want to just be able to open up your file, your little MP4, double click on it, start, and not just have this one channel happen. Don't. Well, Panic. that's going to require that we do a little work in RegEdit. So let's get into that part. Let me load up RegEdit and we're going to load it as administrator. And there's a little administrative pop up for me to say yes. And look at that. I'm already in the right place. I'll bring that over. So, VLC keeps its stuff in H key underscore classes underscore root backslash VLC. And then there's a three letter extension. We'll get into that in a second here. So, the quickest way to do this would be to click on this and then type in backslash VLC. And then you see you have all these options with these different extensions. This is where it gets a little ugly. See, when you launch VLC, it's going to open up a set of files. And um, so, for example, if we type in um, MP4, we're going to open up. Oh, there we go. We're down there. And let me bring it up where we can see it a little easier. We have vlc.mp4. We have default and shell. Let's open up shell. And let's open up add to playlist command. And you see at this top line here, it has the C program files vlc.exe. Uh, shorthand, sorry. But... You see how it ends in quotes, and then we have started from file playlist uh, NQ percent one. Well, those are settings that are being pushed to C program files 
vlc.exe. Okay, so we would need to put uh, a little bit of information on each one of these in here, and we would have to do that in command, and we would have to do that well, in this command and this command, we'd have to do that in three places. That's for each file type that you want to have automatically have um, all the channels, all the audio channels show up. That seems kind of a pain, huh? Well, what you can do instead is click on the top item, right click it, and click on export. And then find a folder you want to put it in and give it a name, which I've already done, and hit save. That will create this file. Do not double click on this file yet. What you're going to want to do is right click on it because it's a .reg file. If you double click on it, it will launch this file and have it do something. I'm going to right click on it. We're going to edit with Notepad in this case. Let me bring the Notepad over there so you can see it. And remember there were three spots, three different areas where there was a command. Well, there's a command section, one, two, three of them in fact, in this file now. And you can see that the command is the next line here. And you see that it also has the started from file playlist NQ 1%. What we're going to do, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to get that string that I had set up, properties, the dash stout all stout display. We're going to copy that. Now we're going to go back over to Notepad. And we're going to, after every one of these command lines, where it has a dash dash started, we're going to make sure that we have a space. And then we're going to paste and then put a space in, that way it's surrounded by spaces. It only needs one there. And then we're going to go to the next one. That has a space, that's good. And then the next one. Alright, now we're going to save. Control S, that'll save it. Then we're going to minimize this. So now we have this VLC reg. So, um, I'm running my windows here. This, this shell has an admin. So if I double click on this item, it will run the item and update the information. Um, the thing is, most people aren't doing that. So instead, you're going to want to somehow run this as an admin. Gosh, I wonder how they we're going to do that. Well, we're in PowerShell. You can do this in the regular command shell, but I prefer to use PowerShell when I have to change drives because the CD command is much simpler here. Yeah, anyhow. And we also have LS. Ooh, let me change this. LS and... You can see that we're in the right directory and we have a don't panic av example.mp4. I am running PowerShell as administrator. So if I type in dot backslash my did I did I call it don't panic? <laughs> dot backslash my there we go. And I hit enter. Ah, let me bring this over. Okay, it gives me a little pop-up saying that it's going to make changes to my registry. Are you sure? Yes, I'm, I'm sure. Okay, and then it gives me another pop-up saying that the changes have been made. Okay, 
So let's hit OK. And let's go back into the registry. Yeah, let me bring up the registry. And we'll see if it's updated or if we have to do a refresh. Command. SD out, SD out, or S out, all, S out, display. So we've changed the information in the registry. Yay. So what does that mean? Well, technically what that should mean is if I can get back to it. Hello, there it is. If I double click on this MP4, here we go. All right, so that's how you do it. Two different ways. All righty, I hope this helps, and until next time, bye. Hi, Editor Rowan here. Um, I forgot to mention in the video that um, you'll need to do method number two for each of the video file types that you use. So if you use .mov and .mkv and .whatever, you'll have to look that up in the regedit for VLC and change each of those files just like we did with the MP4. Okay, back to the end of the video now. Bye!